It's rhombus time. Here we go. So a rhombus, of course, is a special parallelogram. So you might be looking at this problem and saying, well, why don't I just use the area of a parallelogram? Well, the area of a parallelogram, you find the use base times height. So the base would be this bottom part right here, and the height would be, yikes, kind of going to be hard to figure that out when all we know is the lengths of the diagonals, this one and this one. But there's a better way. Uh, so if you might notice that if we orient it this way, what we really have in a rhombus when we draw those diagonals is four right triangles, and all four of them are the same. So if we know the area of one of them, we could just multiply that by four to get the area of all of them. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. Forget this problem for a second. We're just going to make it in general. Let's say one of the diagonals is A and the other is B. So if this shorter one is A, that means each of these little pieces, because it's bisected, is A over 2. And this one is A over 2. And same thing here. This is B over 2 and this is b over 2. So if we find the area of just one of these triangles, that's going to be 1 half base times height. Well, the base is, let's say, b over 2, and the height is, let's say, a over 2. Pretend you can read that. Let's just fix that because that's really horrible. OK, so that's a over 2. And so what do we have if we multiply all that together? On the top, we have 1 times b times a, so that's just a times b. And on the bottom, we have 2 times 2 times 2, which is, of course, 8. And so the area of one of those little triangles is that. But we want to know the area of the whole thing, so all we have to do is take that and multiply it by 4. And if we simplify a, b over 8 times 4, or 4 over 1, we get 4 a, b over 8 which can simplify or reduce to a times b divided by 2. And all that is, if you notice, is just the two diagonals multiplied together divided in half. It's just that easy. So another way to find the area of a rhombus, well, having a little trouble there, but you can read that hopefully. Another way to find the area of a rhombus is simply diagonal 1, times diagonal 2 divided by 2, or half the product of the diagonals. So when you have information about the diagonals as opposed to the base and height, when we're talking about a rhombus, much easier way to find the area. Fun fact, a square is a rhombus. So if this works for a rhombus, it will also work for a square. That's all for now.